If you own a Mitsubishi, then check out Rossport. I get almost all of my Stevo parts from Rossport. They provide a large selection of aftermarket and OEM parts, and they're at very competitive prices. The parts get to you as quick as possible, and that's why I've always used Rossport. Check out the link in the description. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Now today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to do a gearbox firmware flash on an Evo 10 or a Rally R. Now I'm gonna go in the car uh, after this bit because there's a football pitch opposite me and they're playing music and I don't wanna get copyrighted. So quickly, I'm gonna show you what you need to actually flash the firmware on your Evo or Rally R. Firstly, a cup of coffee. Yes, it says the greatest dad on it. I am now a dad, as some of you may know. You need a laptop, preferably one with loads of stickers on it. It does make the laptop much faster and also a Tactrix open port 2.0 cable. So that's all you need to flash the firmware. Now I'm gonna go in the car before I get copyrighted from that music that's playing outside. Okay, so just a disclaimer before we actually go ahead and do this, I'm not an expert. Um, I am an IT technician or qualified. I studied for four years to become an IT technician and I found it quite complicated to figure out initially it makes sense to me now, but I've had the car almost two years and only now does it make sense. And even then I still got to Google things and remind myself of things now and then. So it's not an easy task by any means to get pass through can installed, working with the open port and just do everything you need to do. It's an absolute mind exploding amount of information you're going to have to process to get it all working. But I'm going to do my best to help you out a little bit. Now I've made a video on the reteach part. So if you get that far, just follow my video and you'll be, you'll be walked through the rest of it. Now, if you haven't got that far and you are struggling to get the reteach firmware onto your gearbox, or you want to just update your rally art so we've got super sport, then this is the video for you. I'm going to show you where you've got to place the files to update the firmware. Now, you can't just select a file through the software. You have to put files in a certain place to make it work. So it sounds a bit complicated, but it's not too bad once someone shows you how. So let's make okay, a sync of the two, two videos. videos. One, One, two, three. three. Okay, so I'm going to be going back to 2008 firmware. Um, now, there are some slight differences between the, the different generations. Um, and the different firmwares. Apparently the Mitsubishi official documents say that to do a reteach, you need to put 2009 on, do the reteach, go back to the 08 firmware. Uh, 2011 firmware, 2009 firmware. Apparently those gearboxes have slightly different internals. So I'm actually getting a fault on my Evo since I've gone and done a reteach. I've done another reteach and I keep getting an engine light saying um, second gear block. Also the gearbox is making some funny noises sometimes in second gear, almost like a pump's working a bit over time. It didn't do that at all when it had the correct firmware. So I was just being lazy and I didn't put the 08 firmware back on. So that's why I'm gonna do it now. Um, I've done multiple reteaches as well. So that's another reason why I'm gonna go back to the 08. It's not just a bad reteach. The 09 firmware is causing issues on my car. Now, other people might not have the same problem, but it's causing issues for my car. So that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna fit the 08 firmware. Now then, I need to install, according to my little how-to that I've wrote myself a long time ago, I need to go back to 8631 B413 underscore DIO30. I need to put the FL part folder in let's have a look so I'm going to delete that there I'm going to put my FL part file there so looking on the top 
you can see the file paths. So the left is just where I've, where I've put the software, the firmware, and on the right is the actual pass through CAN file path. So I've put the correct file there. Now I need to put the .cff file over as well. So the easiest way to do that would be to look where the old CFF file is. Okay, so it took a little while for me to figure that out again because I keep forgetting every time I do this. But on the pass through can, we go to RPG data, then CFF. Then I'm going to actually delete this. This is the actual ROM now. So we're actually putting the ROM into the software that we want to install. Okay, so I've copied this file now from there over to there. And in the DB folder, we put the FL part one into the XML. Okay, so not bad. Now then, we need to actually now modify some firmware because if I was to go ahead and try and flash this over it would not allow me to. So we're going to have to actually copy, I believe it's this one here. No, it's not. Actually, we don't. We don't have to copy it over because we've actually put a different FL part file in. But here it says new hardware name and new software name. Um, CFF file name 8631B413 so it's already been done but you'd have to change some of these lines to the actual firmware that you want to flash over okay so it looks like that's done so I'll try and flash if there's any problems we'll find out pretty quick because the software won't allow us to do it so I'm sure you've seen it before we're just going to plug the tap tricks now into the actual OBD2 port of Stevo. Then we've got to plug the other side in over here to the laptop and then ignition on. Now on the computer, I'm going to minimize these windows here. Let's open pass through can. So let's try to pass through can flash. Now we'll know almost immediately if there's a problem. It worked. Ah, there we go. And here we see contents reprogramming data for an 08 Lancer Evo after teaching procedure. Now, a few people in the clubs have said to me, oh, you know, when you flash the 2009 over, you should just leave it on or put the most recent firmware on. Mitsubishi actually say, do the reteach on 09 firmware and then flash back to 08. I don't know why that is. I'd imagine most of the other people on the forums are guessing as well. But if Mitsubishi say it, I'm going to do it. And I didn't do it and it's been giving me problems. So we're going back to the 08. So I'm happy to proceed. Assuming the software will allow me. Okay, so we're going. Now there's going to be all sorts of lights and things going off on the dash. Just got to sit here. Make sure you have got a fully charged battery in the car because if it goes flat halfway through, we're stuffed and on your computer. So one thing as well, while this is going on, just to say, Mitsubishi, as far as I'm aware, obviously I'm not claiming to be an expert, but Mitsubishi don't actually update the SST on older SST Evo 10s. So if you had an 08 and went to the dealer and asked for them to put a 2015 firmware on, they wouldn't update it. The 08 firmware is for an 08 gearbox. The 09 firmware is for an 09 gearbox. And the 11 plus firmware is for an 11 plus gearbox.
Now they're not updating it because they're revising the software necessarily. They're updating it because there's mechanical differences, although slight, in the actual valve body inside the gearbox. So what, what do you do if you've got a rally art? Well, you would do the same procedure, what we've done now, um, but you would put 2000, if you've got an 08 rally art, I'd assume you'd put an 08 Evo 10 firmware on. If you've got a 2011 rally art, well, put 2011 firmware on. Um, when you're done in your rally art and you knock the car off and you turn it back on, you'll have super sport, as easy as that. Or if you really want to, you could put rally art firmware on an Evo, but that doesn't sound very good. <laughs> okay, so we're getting to the end. Remember to pick up a Stevo t-shirt in the link below as well. But I think we're almost done. 99%. Well, hey, reprogramming is complete. Okay, so you will get an engine light now. I don't know why, but you will. So we've got to turn the car off. Then we've got to turn it back on. And then we've got to erase the diagnostic trouble codes from the gearbox. There we go, we've erased it. So the engine light was on when I turned the ignition on and it's gone straight back off. Okay, so I think that's it. So hopefully that's helped you to flash the firmware on your gearbox for whatever reason it is, whether you have a rally art where you want to get Super Sport enabled, whether you have a Evo 10 that you wanted to reteach and then put the firmware back, that's how you do it. So pretty simple. Sometimes the firmware doesn't come with the .cff file and you have to actually modify it. So you just have to go in, just say the new target, new software and hardware name, and you just got to put in the, um, you know, the, the code from the firmware that you want to use. So that's it. Hopefully you found the video helpful. If you have, remember to uh, click like. Um, also subscribe as well. Uh, I looked at my analytics yesterday. Only 5% of people who watch my videos are subscribed. If you could subscribe to the video, it'd make a massive difference to me. It would actually help me out and make a difference to my life. And uh, I'd really appreciate it. So thanks for that. If you want to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.